Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. This is the RTH Podcast, man. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm checking in, man. So finally, 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 we get an opportunity to hear what Naoya Inoue thinks about this fight versus Stephen Fulton. We all have been uh, speculating and doing guesswork and commenting and speaking our minds about all of this stuff and we never really get an opportunity to hear from the dragon's mouth Naoya no way uh, we always hear from Stephen Fulton for, for, for a slight a slight little bit but not met much from it Naoya no way and I finally found an article that I can let you guys know what he thinks himself okay now uh in this particular article he basically states uh the biggest challenge for him is going up and becoming world champion yet again okay so i'm going to read the article and i'm going to let you guys know what he thinks now these are his words they're in quotations so these are his words not mine okay it says my next goal is to move up in weight and once again become world champion in no way noted on his up and coming pound for pound showdown with the unbeaten Philadelphia native Stephen Fulton. I'm sure it will be the biggest challenge for me so far since I will have to deal with issues relating to my own physical frame, okay? He also stated that I am an attacker, noted by no way. I'm the type who has a style with serious offense and defense and who just keeps coming i'm now coming up to the super bantamweight division all right and for all of you guys before you get out of here if you guys want to see this particular showdown it's going down may the 7th okay may the 7th and there are two different apps that will hold this fight okay so if you're over in japan there's uh an app called the lamino app okay l-e-m-i-n-o l-e-m-i-n-o the lamino app it will be launching soon only for those in japan who wants to see this fight okay and for you guys over in america who would like to see this fight as well you just gotta watch the espn plus app and you guys will be able to see this fight on the ESPN Plus app. So kudos to both of those brands for hosting this fight for us. Possibly the biggest stylistic fight in the sport of boxing this year. Unless we can get Usyk, Tyson, Fury. Um, nothing is going to be able to top this. And there's only one rival to this fight that's going down. And it will be uh, a female fight with Chantel Cameron and Katie Taylor. That is the only other fight that can rival this fight stylistically. Um, these two guys have very unique styles. Um, Naoya Noe believes that his body frame is a tad bit smaller. Just a tad bit smaller than what he needs to defeat Stephen Fulton. Although he's gained to uh take on this challenge and become a new uh division world champion okay in the super bantamweight division all right now we know that steven fortune has already had his his words to say about this mainly saying that it's him versus him and uh he don't see naoya norway being able to do anything that can stop steven fortune okay but uh naoya norway believes that he does have the power he's not going to back up he's going to keep coming forward and he's going to take what's rightfully his, which is to be a legend by uh, grossing another uh, division with his hand raised up while it's gold inside of his hand. Um, I think that this is going to be a very strategic fight. Like I tell you guys all the time, this is two masters of the art going out into a uh, sold out arena. I'm pretty sure that they're going to sell out the arena in Japan. And uh, they're going to put on a show, bro. And whoever has the, the best art form on the night, like I, I think all of the preparations and all of the training will help running the laps. It will help, but it's not going to speak to what's going to happen on the ring, uh, in the ring on the night. You see what I'm saying? Because uh, it could go 
several different ways this fight you know what i'm saying um i i could see steven fortin being slippery and not being able to be punched i can see nayo nayo you know way doing the same thing i can see steven fortin adding some power to them punches i can see nayo you know way decreasing in his power you see what i'm saying i can see nayo you know way having a ton of power and and steven fortin can't get around it you see what I'm saying? I can see Nayo, you know, way trapping Stephen Fortson on the ropes, like what we seeing going on in this video right now. It's a lot that can go on in this fight, bro. And I don't think that all of the speculations is, is even half of the possibility that's going to go on with these two gentlemen, bro. This is a tough ass fight for both of these dudes. Um, reason why is because there's a lot at stake here in the Super Bantamweight division. Both of these guys right here are two fights away from becoming undisputed in the super bantamweight division that's if marijan akhmadaliev does what he's supposed to do which is go for undisputed now he has been holding up stephen fortin from undisputed we all know it right but he's saying that he's game to fight naoya inoue so if naoya inoue beats stephen fortin we need to see marijan akhmadaliev in the ring with naoya inoue asap all right but if Stephen Fortin is to get this W, we need to see the exact same energy devoted towards Stephen Fortin, okay? And I understand you guys, as the No Way fans, don't believe that that will happen. I get it, bro. But as a, a unbiased person, I don't know who's going to win. I've said it several times. I haven't even done research on these guys. There are so many fighters I have to cover. I can't be like some of your favorite YouTubers and cover Naoya No Way all the time. I can't, bro. First and foremost, you guys would get tired of that over here. If I was just Naoya in no way, Naoya in no way all the time, you would get tired of that, bro. I can't cover Stephen Fortin all the time. There's plenty of boxes here that you can watch. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those situations where I haven't even been able to do side-by-side -side footage with these guys yet. Right now, I'm doing side-by-side -side footage on Caleb Plant and David Benavidez. It goes to show you where my mind is right now. But I was just excited to see that Naoya Inoue was able to speak his mind about how he feels about the fight. We never get a chance to see him. And he's not a really big brand over in America. So they really, you know, shortchanges us on seeing anything on Naoya Inoue. But we can see everything on Stephen Fortin. And I have to do a lot of searching to find anything on Naoya. You see what I'm saying? And as far as Fortin, I can just find it. You know, whenever he says something, I can just find it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I did the 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 next best thing, which is you know check out Naoya No Way on his Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Which is the way I can see what he has to say and and kind of implement it to you guys what's going on over here in America because this is an exciting fight, bro. Not only for Japan fans but for American fans, man. We get to see the top two dogs in the smaller divisions duke it out. And to see who is the best. Now we have power versus speed. We have speed versus power. We have uh, boxing intellect, boxing IQ, all playing this part. I've already said it several times. This is Bruce Lee versus Jim Kelly. No matter how you guys want to look at it, man. And I'm not being funny when I say that. I'm just saying these are two masters of the art duking it out center stage, bro. So I got to ask you guys before we get out of here, man. Who do you guys see winning this fight? Now, Naoya Inoue did say he feels that he has to work on his frame. All right. But that doesn't mean that he's not going to come out ready to fight, ready to attack, and ready to take over the Super Bantamweight division. Do you guys see him winning, even with the smaller frame? Okay. Um, as far as Stephen Fulton, do you guys see him having enough punching power to back up the attacker that is the monster Naoya no way. Now he's saying he's coming to attack. So um this ain't gonna be one of those fights where he gonna wanna sit back and, and have a chess match. He wanna fight, bruh. So is Steven Fulton game and ready enough to fight this fight versus Naoya no way? And what could be possibly the 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 biggest fight this year? It might win fight of the year. Um, unless we get some very big fights that, that come into uh, fruition in the near future. This might be fight of the year right here, bro. It just has all of the fixings for that. Um, not, not to mention, the winner of this fight should get Marijan Akhmadaliev. Hopefully, they get Marijan Akhmadaliev so we can have a super bantamweight undisputed king. We already have a bantamweight undisputed king. and His name is Naoya Noe. 
Um, they owe you no way. Also became six time uh, MVP uh, in Japan. I, I've already covered that, man. And this is going down in the Yokohama Arena uh, on May the 7th. And if you guys are trying to find it again, you have to get the Lamino app uh, for Japan. The Lamino app, L E M I N O app, okay? It will be launching soon. So if you can't find it, just look for it again next month. But it will be it will be launched before the fight date, okay? And if you guys want to see it in America, just ESPN Plus, man. ESPN Plus app, you will be able to uh, root for Stephen Fortune on the ESPN Plus app, all right? But that's just my time on this one, man. This is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bruh. Peace.